Happy New Year's. And I don't want to wake up. The alternator went out on the Dodge. Big old Dodge. Feel you later. Yeah, so despite my best efforts, I was working on my truck and couldn't get the lights to turn off. Um, and then the uh, truck just would not start. So I jumped it. I used two battery packs. That didn't work. I used jumper cables. That didn't work. Um, so we jumped it using a bigger truck and it finally started. So I ran it for about 30 minutes. And then right as I was going outside, the truck shut off all by itself, um, which means to me that the alternator went out. Um, obviously, the truck was running on pure battery juice. The batteries died, which means the alternator was not charging it. So that's what was going on. So we left my truck at the shop. The alternator went out. And luckily, it's covered under warranty. But well, we'll see what happens. Well, we got some food. Ooh, look at her go, look at her go. I'm so good, yummy. Let her go. I personally don't like it, but Bubba's happy, so we're good. Now, she's gonna go to work, and I'm gonna go do something. I don't know what. Deep throat challenge. Regular straw. We're gonna see how far I can get it. And then we're gonna see how far Adrian can get it. And that's gonna be her official introduction to my YouTube video. No, it's not. Apparently it's go. not. Start over. <laughs> that was pretty far. I wanted to talk about something real fast on the outskirts of fitness, on the outskirts of the military, and on the outskirts of uh, my daily vlogs, anyways. What I wanted to talk about was New Year's resolutions, New Year's goals, uh, New Year's expectations. That is great and all, but a lot of people take that out of hand. And what I mean by that is they set expectations uh, by the week. Every week I want to take my wife out. Or every day I want to eat healthy. Well, guess what? That's all great and everything, but there's no hit time for that. There's no exact day for that. A goal, a New Year's resolution, is supposed to be one thing that you know has a complete date. For example, I'm going to start college. Therefore, my New Year's resolution is going to be I'm going to start college. That is complete when I start college. If your New Year's resolution states that you're gonna take your wife out every week for the remainder of the year, that's fine, I understand that. But that's not a goal that you're gonna get satisfaction out of. A goal that you're gonna get satisfaction out of is something that you can visually look at, visually know that you are taking steps to completing that goal. And eventually, before the next year, that goal is gonna be checked off. So you can start working on something else. It makes your time go by faster and your expectations are gonna seem greater because you're knocking stuff out as time I'm goes I'm not on. knocking anyone's goals. I'm not trying to set you back on anything. But what I'm trying to say is be realistic. You don't wanna have a goal that's gonna be ruined because you don't do it one time. So if you're gonna eat, if your goal is to eat healthy all year, but one day you eat a cheesecake, so your entire resolution is over? No, it's not supposed to be that way. You can set 10 goals, 10 complete goals, and knock out one by one by one by one by one by one by one. That's something attainable. That's something you know when you complete it that you can check mark that goal. So don't get unmotivated because you have all these unattainable goals that you're never gonna accomplish. Not drinking soda for the year. That's not an attainable goal. You don't have a set date where, okay, I'm officially not drinking soda. No. It needs to be something that you can grasp. Something that you know, okay, this is complete. 
I will start college. So the day I know that that is complete is when I have started college. I can put a check mark to that box. You want to buy an airplane. How do you know that's complete? You have bought an airplane. Something to grasp, something tangible, something that you know you can complete. Not something ridiculous. I want to give my wife 33 kids. That's not even realistic. Let's think logically here. Be realistic about your goals. Don't unmotivate yourself because your goals are like unattainable, unrealistic, untangible. Be realistic. Set a date for some stuff. Know that when you complete one, you can move on. That's how a list is supposed to be completed. And everyone takes this New Year's resolution thing out of control. Not that I'm a new, a huge New Year's fan or a huge uh, resolutions person or anything like that. But it's something fun to do. And I have set goals every single year. And I have completed them every single year. I also have goals that I have not completed. And they just roll on. So uh, don't think that I'm trying to knock your struggle. Or I'm trying to knock your hustle. Or anything like that. I'm not. I'm just saying motivate yourself to make it something tangible. Happy New Year's everyone. I hope you guys have fun. Please be safe. Don't drink and drive. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Down there where the thumbs up button is. Just like this. Thumbs up. It's down there below. Subscribe. Like, comment, don't forget to share so all my other friends can see these and all your friends and all their friends and all their mom's friends and yeah, don't forget. Also, yes, my wife won the bet. I got 40 something likes on a comment or something and yes, my wife's going to be doing my makeup on video and yes, I'll be posting it to my channel. It's ridiculous. But yeah, I'll be doing it. I don't know when, but it will get done, I promise you. What's wrong? What's wrong, sleeper butt? Hi, sleeper. Poor Toby, it's obese.